The attacking twelve tails broke through the air at an extremely fast speed, and the strength of their attack can already be seen from the mournful screams in the air. Donzo's heart sank after weighing Ginkaku Kinkaku's strength and their current situation. My body can't resist it head on now, as long as I survive their attack this time, then I can adjust my body's breath back. Thoughts were surging, and I had come to a conclusion in my heart, because I blocked those two tailed beast jades just now, and now my muscles are extremely sore. It seems that we can only gamble. As for the hard top with iron blocks, oh, dogs don't even need it. The most terrifying attacks must be avoided with the simplest defense methods. Come on, tightrope dancers. The expert level knowledgeable domineering quickly spread out, seeing all the gaps in the attack. The strength of Ginkaku and Kinkaku, who are now dominated by Nine Tails Chakra, has indeed greatly increased, but what has brought with it is that their brains are completely occupied by animal nature. So, that means there is a chance. Pole paper painting. After relaxing the muscles of the whole body and removing all the strength, the body can be easily controlled as if painting on paper, and the whole person dances with the breeze like a piece of paper. After completing this step, a tail has come to the front, sensing the airflow above it, the whole person dances with it, and the fierce attack does not cause any damage to Danzo. Seeing that Ginkaku blow failed, Kinkaku stretched out his tail impatiently and swept across. With one blow, all the walls of the ruins behind Danzo collapsed, but he still stood there in a state of bliss. The whole person is neither sad nor happy. Now Danzo has given all his defenses to his intuition, and his mind is used to mobilize the energy in the body to continuously repair the damaged body. Damn Konoha Ninja, don't hide if you can. After seeing that he failed to attack many times, Ginkaku roared angrily, and all the tails rushed up, but there was no way to do it. And Silver Horn also launched an attack with a gloomy face, apparently dazzled by anger. Oh, sure enough, the beast still has flaws. Looking at the menacing attack, Danzo was not afraid of rejoicing, facing these deadly tails, the whole person danced like a butterfly in it. That's it. After Danzo felt that his body functions had recovered, Shi Shiran landed on the ground, and the twelve tails behind him were tied into a big knot, tightly entangled, unable to break free at all. The eyes of the two were already bloodshot and red from extreme anger. Gritting his teeth, he tore all the tails apart abruptly and took them all back. Then he lay down on the ground again, staring at Danzo viciously, accumulating energy in his mouth, tailed beast Jade, you will never hide, damn guy. Day NM, come again. Measuring the distance between the two, Danzo found sadly that his own sword could not successfully stop them before their moves were released. The black-tailed beast Jade slowly formed in their mouths again. Bend down, as if you were facing a big enemy. Unexpectedly, the golden and silver horns were suddenly thrown by a thick stick, and the unformed tailed beast jade in their mouths exploded instantly, completely blowing up the nine tailed chakras on their heads. Tailed beast Yu, who had failed to be released abruptly, was seriously injured by the blast, and the two of them were buried under the rubble. Just as I am a cheerleader, can't you? This time, you can't let Danzo stand alone. Danzo followed the stick in a daze and looked at the shooter, only to see Hirazaru Serutobi smiling triumphantly while holding the Vajra Omnistick, without wiping the blood from his mouth he gave him a thumbs up. At this time, an arm emerged from the ruins, and Ginkaku struggled to get up from it. His whole body was disheveled, and only a little of the Nine Tails Chakra remained on his body. This is you. He didn't expect that he would be slapped by that guy who never paid attention. Now that the two of them don't have the assistance of Nine Tails Chakra, they definitely can't beat that man. Originally, I thought about defeating those Konoha ninjas, earning a fortune in this city and releasing Hachio, now. Ginkaku looked angrily at Danzo in the distance, gritted his teeth and said. Ginkaku, prepare to release the eight tails, destroy this city completely. Hearing his words, Kinkaku hesitated for a moment, but the words he said were extremely cold. Ah. Brother, what should we do with our money? No matter. Kill these Konoha ninjas, and then think about it. He thought for a while, stomped his feet, and took out the six ninja tools from the scroll, the amber bottle which was the container where Yunnan village sealed the eight tails, and it was also the confidence that Ginkaku Kinkaku dared to make trouble in the hinterland of the country of fire. Looking at the amber purification bottle in Ginkaku Kinkaku thought of the other six ninja tools in the village, and a flash of greed flashed in his eyes, if all the six ninja tools were in the hands of the two brothers. Then he shook his head, the top priority now is to get rid of Danzo and others in front of him, as for those ninja tools, hey, sooner or later they will be included in the bag. Grinning his mouth, he looked at Danzo with a grin, and laughed loudly. 
Shimura Danzo, aren't you amazing? Now let's see who is stronger between you and the eight-tailed monster. I bought this from you Konoha, ha ha ha. Ignoring Danzo who was approaching rapidly, he lifted the lid of the amber bottle, and the cold and violent chakra emitted from it. A giant bull with an octopus tentacled tail popped out of it. The huge size collapsed the surrounding ground, turning the already fragmented ruins into dust once again. Moo. As soon as the eight-tailed bull ghost appeared, it stared violently at the surrounding things, and the eight octopus whiskers waved wantonly, sweeping away the nearby houses. Fortunately, those residents left their homes early after hearing the fighting here. Danzo looked at the terrifying beast in front of him, sweat dripped from his cheeks, and he held the knife tightly in his hand. Unexpectedly, the two guys, Ginkaku Kinkaku, put the eight-tailed sealed container beside them, no wonder they couldn't find it. However, this time it's really troublesome. Taking a closer look, the two guys, Ginkaku and Kinkaku, have already run away with a group of Lei Ren. Brother, is it really good to put Hachio here? Silverhorn asked while running. Ginkaku turned his head and glanced at the terrifying figure of Hachio, patted the amber bottle that he brought with him, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Let's leave this monster to those Konoha ninjas. Let's find a time to use this treasure and take it back. On the other side, Danzo, who had just escaped a tailed beast jade, could no longer care about the sweat on his forehead, held a knife to block the tail of an octopus that was sweeping, and shouted to Hirazaru Serutobi and others not far away. Monkey, take these little guys and leave immediately, this is no longer a battle they can participate in. Hirazaru Serutobi felt the terrifying aura of Hachio, and understood that it was not when he was trying to be brave, and it was the right choice to take them away from the scene first and then come back to help. Understood. Danzo wait for me, don't die. So he nodded to Danzo, and they quickly left the front line of the battle with Orochimaru. Fuck. You're dead. The young master won't die. Seeing Orochimaru and the others leave here, he breathed a sigh of relief, and put all his attention on Hachio. Now the aftermath of his battle with eight tails can cause Tsunade and the others to be seriously injured, or even die. Even if it is him, he must be extremely careful when facing this guy. It is not like the low-profile version of the nine-tailed two goods just now, but a real-tailed beast, which can really destroy the existence of a city. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a few more octopus tails slap towards him, and with force in his hands, he shook them away, and he quickly jumped up and left the place. Bang! After the octopus tail was photographed, it was raised again. The place where Danzo was standing just now had been turned into powder. He gritted his teeth and looked at the wanton destruction of Hachio, angrily said. Damn Hachio, I really think that the young master can't do anything to you, right? I'll kill you sooner or later. The upper body is made into beef hot pot, and the lower body is made into octopus balls. Aiming at a weak point on its body, Danzo squinted his eyes, held the handle of the knife, and slowly squatted down. One knife style, pole, swallow return. A bright knife light streaked from bottom to top, and Yao, who was madly destroying the houses, suddenly felt a pain in his body. He looked down and saw that one of his tails had been cut off by a human. A mere human reptile. How dare you? Um. Are you a descendant of that man? Ha ha ha. Just right. Let you atone for him. A little springtail that didn't care about it stabbed it fiercely, which made it very annoyed. Seeing the Konoha logo on Donzo's body, he became even more angry. Before, I was just in a daze in the valley, and then a nasty guy suddenly appeared, involuntarily summoning a Buddha statue that was bigger than me. It didn't have time to react, 999 palms came over, almost killing himself on the spot. At the moment of fainting, I vaguely heard what he said, obviously nine tails could withstand this move, why is this little octopus so weak? Then when he woke up, he was already in Yunnan village, and he only remembered that guy had a forehead like this carved on his head. Now, let's settle the old and new accounts together. Danzo, who had just cut off one of Hashio's tails, hadn't taken a breath when he saw it staring at him with a pair of bull eyes that were bigger than a house. The boundless anger in his eyes made him slightly taken aback. Why did he feel that cutting off one of its tails was the same as killing his whole family? In the next moment, countless tails came with a strong wind, accompanied by several tailed beast jades. Danzo couldn't fight back at all with such a dense attack, and could only be tired of coping. Bang bang bang. Even Danzo was extremely fast, but he was hit by some attacks. The bones in his body seemed to be broken by it, and the whole person looked like a blood man. You know, this guy, even the three generations of rakage in the future, combined the power of the entire village to put it back into the seal. 
and the ruthless person of the third generation of rakage, but the existence of single-handedly singled out 10,000 ninjas, if he is given enough physical strength, it is only a matter of time before these ninjas are killed. After analyzing the battle data of the two in his mind, Donzo's heart sank, he was not superior in all aspects. Water escape a water chaos wind escape a breakthrough. Fire escape a fireball suddenly, a series of ninjutsu slammed into Hachio who was chasing and killing Danzo. It couldn't do much harm to it, but it was still unavoidable to be annoyed. Another group of reptiles. It turned out that it was the defense force stationed in the city and some Konoha ninjas who passed by because of the mission. There were nearly 300 people in total. The leader was a ninja from the Hyuga family, followed by Hirazaru Serutobi. Under the ninjutsu bombardment of these people, Yao didn't even fight back for a while, and taking advantage of this respite, the Hyuga ninja jumped to his side. Danzo Sama, I am the ninja in charge of the city's defense force, Hanadagawa, what's going on with this guy? Wearing a ninja vest proved his strength, and there was no caged bird on his head, so he should be a ninja from the Hyuga clan. At this moment, he was staring at Eight Tailed who was dragged by the ninja troops, and sweat was slowly streaming down his forehead. Although he didn't know what kind of monster it was, years of combat experience told him. Don't look at Konoha Ninja's aggressive attack now, but it has not caused any substantial damage to it at all. I have arranged personnel to evacuate the residents in the city, but it is impossible for so many people to evacuate completely in a short time. And their chakra can only last for a quarter of an hour at most with such an attack power, after that. Danzo took a deep breath and told him the ins and outs of the matter. After the two talked, they both understood the seriousness of this crisis. I understand, this time I will bet the honor of Konoha's defense force, at least, before we die, this monster will not harm the residents. Hanadagawa was silent for a while, straightened his forehead, saluted Danzo with a ninja salute, and then participated in the command again. At least, after he joins, Bayan has insight into everyone's chakra reserves, which can increase the support time to at least two quarters of an hour. Hachio, who had been blocking ninjutsu attacks with his tail, felt the reduction of ninjutsu attacks until it was sparse, slowly lowered his tail, and looked at the group of Konoha ninjas with ferocious faces. The yin and yang chakras in the mouth converge. Ha ha ha. Let me die. Tailed beast Jade attacked them fiercely with the sound of piercing through the air, and the Konoha ninjas closed their eyes, ready to face death. Now there is not much chakra left on them, and there is no way to escape. Hanada Chuan silently stood in front of everyone, turned his back to the brothers behind him, and made a soft fist gesture. He could not lead these people to die with their own glory. So let him die before everyone else, Baguajong a Huishin. Compared with the powerful tailed beast Jade, this move is like a mayfly shaking a tree, but at least it must die with dignity. In an instant, tailed beast Jade was in front of everyone, and he also closed his eyes. But after waiting for a while, he found that there was no damage as imagined. Hayugakawa slowly opened his eyes, and a figure holding a black knife appeared in front of him, and the blade seemed to be flowing with flames. Thank you for your hard work. Next, leave it to me. His mind sank on the system panel, and there was a line of words in it. Inheritance of the wind has been completed. Now, Zanpakuto begins to understand. An hour ago. Ha! Slash steel flash, clang. The knife in his hand not only did not cause any damage to the iron block in front of him, but was broken by the hard iron block. Hey, why is it so difficult to cut iron? Mifune sighed, and threw the broken sword aside irritably. With the sound of iron objects colliding, suddenly there was a pile of broken iron swords beside him. Pulling out a brand new samurai sword from the knife holder again, took a deep breath, closed his eyes tightly, stabilized his mind, sat down cross-legged, and thought about all the words Danzo said. A knife is an extension of the body, not a tool. As long as you know the veins of the knife in your hand and feel its breath, then everything can be cut with one blow. Slowly, the bored heart gradually calmed down, his hands stroked the samurai sword in his hand, feeling the sharpness of it, the cold touch seemed to gradually become warmer. In the darkness, the iron block in front of him seemed to appear in front of his eyes. Even though his eyes were closed, he could clearly feel all of it with the knife in his hand. It, vaguely transmitted a breath that seemed to be there. This is what the teacher said, it turned out to be true. Barely suppressing the excitement in his heart, Mifune adjusted his breathing so that his breathing rate was consistent with Toto. Sanfun, Iron Block, Katana, all the frequencies of the three slowly converged into one point, and a white dot appeared in front of his eyes, that incomparably bright dot. It's now. Chopping Steel Flash. 
Eyes opened, eyes flashed, Mifune yelled, and slashed down with the knife in his hand. This time, instead of being broken like the previous knife, the samurai sword was cut in half like cutting mud. The cut surface is extremely smooth, and the samurai sword is still sharp without any nicks. Unbelievably looking at the knife in his hand, Mifune lay down on the ground, panting heavily, looked at the blue sky, and grinned. Ha ha ha, Danzo sensei, I succeeded. Inheritance of the wind has been completed. The reward has been issued. Feeling the power contained in the sword, Danzo looked at Yao in front of him with high spirits. Three seconds ago Hadong, three seconds ago Hexi, don't bully Danzo poor. Mifune, you bastard disciple, I love you to death. In a blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Konoha Zongren who was about to be attacked by tailed beast Jade. Slowly draw the knife. Zanpakuto, the first solution. All things are in ashes, and the blades are like fire. The dragon flame attached to the toothless boy in the past is also integrated into this knife at this moment. Flames erupted from the scabbard, and the terrifying high temperature almost deformed the surrounding air. Flowing blade like fire a Shijia Songming. The moment the knife was drawn, the tornado-shaped wall of flames roared and wrapped the tailed beast Jade and spun and burned. The flame storm completely devoured the jet black-tailed beast Jade. The tailed beast jade exuding a frightening aura was constantly deforming and wearing away under the terrifying high temperature. Finally, it dissipated in front of Danzo, and the broken hair on his forehead fluttered slightly, but it didn't hurt him at all. Such a terrifying fire escape, how many cards does this guy Danzo have? Serutobi Hirazan held Vajra Rui, and even standing at a distance, he could feel the extremely high temperature of the flame vortex. Such a powerful fire escape ninjutsu, he had only seen one person perform it when he was young. He is synonymous with war, Uchiha Madara. The guy who really pushed the fire escape ninjutsu to the extreme. The power of this move has already made him feel that the current Danzo's fire escape attainment is very close to that ninja Shira. Danzo, you guys, you hide deep enough. As his enemy before, he had a headache, but now. Come on Danzo. Send this eight-legged monster flying. After taking the exhausted Konoha ninjas away from the battlefield, Serutobi Hirazan stood on a high place and shouted at Danzo. Seeing that his tailed beast Jade did not cause any harm to those humans, Eight-Tailed was so furious that he stretched out his tail and swept away. Good job! Seeing its tail attacking, Danzo was not afraid of rejoicing, and went directly to meet the tail with the blade upright. Draw the knife style a caress and chop. The sword condensed on the blade, and slashed at an extremely fast speed. In an instant, another tail of eight tails was cut off. Moo. The pain of the broken tail spread all over the body, and it also made eight Weiss completely lose his mind, and a pair of bull's eyes were extremely red and bloodshot. Raising his head high, countless yin and yang chakras were gathered and compressed in his mouth, and the power that had not yet formed had surpassed the previous tailed beast jade. Die. Continuous tailed beast jade. A jet black light pierced the air and attacked Danzo at an extremely fast speed. Sensing the power of this move, Danzo narrowed his eyes slightly, it seemed that the guy in front of him was really anxious. Then come on, let me beat you upright, Yau, flowing blade like fire a beginning a burning hell. Dozens of sky reaching fire pillars surrounded Danzo in a circle. Under his control, all the fire pillars gathered together and faced the eight-tailed beast Yuguang pillar from bottom to top. Explosions occurred continuously at the place where the two attacks collided, and the light of the soaring fire pillar illuminated most of the city, while the tailed beast jade light pillar was like a dark condensate, competing with this light. Orochimaru, who was organizing the evacuation of the residents in the city, felt the light coming from behind him, and couldn't help but glance back, his small mouth was slightly half-opened, and he was already dumbfounded. Is this really a power that humans can achieve? Originally, he thought that his teacher's ability to hold this monster was considered good, but now it seems that he might be able to kill this guy on the spot. Ginkaku Kinkaku, who had already run outside the city, looked at Danzo's flowing blade like fire, and his face was so gloomy that it seemed to be dripping water. With this strength, let alone searching for property, it would be a good idea to get Hachio back. Now they dare not approach at all, they are afraid that Danzo will hack them to death with a knife. After thinking for a long time, he turned and left. Let's go. But Lord Ginkaku, what about eight tails? It's hard to explain. Seeing Ginkaku give this order, a Yun Ren in the team couldn't help but said. This time the task was originally their own initiative, and the reason why they were able to steal the amber bottle was because he was the caretaker, and now that Yahweh couldn't take it back, he was really difficult to deal with. 
Hearing what his subordinates said, the nine tails chakra on Ginkaku's body rose slightly, and with a flash of his figure, he slapped him with a slap, and that cloud ninja was instantly slapped away. You do what you want. You are teaching me how to do things. After finishing speaking, there was no answer. It turned out that Yun Nin had already been fainted by the fan. His brutality made all the Yun Ren shudder in their hearts, and they all lowered their heads, not daring to say another word. Cut, bad luck. Seeing this, Ginkaku took out a handkerchief and wiped his palms in disgust, and asked several Yun Nin to take the fainted Yun Nin, and the group left the scene like this. The soaring fire pillar and the pitch black tailed beast Jade competed with each other. Eight tails looked at this terrifying fire escape power, and sweat dripped from his forehead. This kind of high temperature is completely different from the fire escape of those little reptiles just now. If he was surrounded by this pillar of fire, he would definitely die. Although the tail beast will not die, it will only reform a body somewhere after being beaten and disappeared. But is the new self really the self? Eight tails dare not gamble on this possibility, which is why it would rather be sealed than fight Hashirama to the end. Seeing that the situation was at a stalemate, Danzo raised the corner of his mouth, stuck the Zanpakuto in his hand on the ground, twisted it smoothly, and the fire expanded a little more. The pillar of fire rose from the ground, crushed the tailed beast Yu Guangbo, and approached the eight tails with great pressure. It was still struggling to support it. Seeing this, the remaining six tails slammed on the ground. He strengthened the power of his tailed beast Jade again, but from its trembling body, it can be seen that eight tails is already a powerful bow. Did you get fooled, fool? Danzo sneered, and formed a mudra with one hand, a few smoke came out in place, and several shadow clones appeared around it. All of them had malicious smiles on their faces. Looking at the expressions on the faces of a group of Danzo, Hachio, who was already trembling, trembled a lot more, and a pair of bull's eyes showed fear for the first time. Tapping. The sound of the special shoes touching the ground kept touching its nerves, but now it couldn't get away from dealing with these shadow clones that would usually disappear with a single tap. He could only look at these guys approaching in despair. I keep yelling in my heart, don't come here. Da da da. One sword style Kai Tiger hunting. Armed Kalora Iron Fist of Love Lanjiao Enhanced Edition. Countless attacks blasted at the immobile eight tailed body in different postures. Not long after, the originally majestic Hachio was beaten with a black nose and a swollen face. Speak or not. The fist that contained the color of arms hit Hashio's eyes fiercely. Its right eye bulged slightly, forming a symmetry with the left eye. A shadow clone of Danzo squeezed his fist, shook his fist in front of Yao's eyes, and asked viciously. Hachio, who can't speak at all, has already collapsed in his heart, and his eyes frantically signal to Danzo's body that is still outputting, you should ask anyway. I don't even know what the problem is. At least, give me a chance to speak. Okay, I admire your courage. There are very few tailed beasts with such a stubborn mouth. Seeing that it was already miserable, but still, not saying a word, and dared to stare at his own eight tails, Danzo nodded. He didn't expect a tailed beast to be so stubborn. Then he sighed, originally he wanted to seal this guy, but now it seems that he can only kill him. Danzo, who was about to use all his strength to release all the power of Zanpakuto, a shadow clone passed through the pillar of fire and pulled him back. Well, the main body, it seems, it seems that this guy can't speak. Seeing that someone finally spoke a fair word for it, Eight Tails' swollen face trembled slightly, and a pair of bull's eyes were already full of tears. Aha! It seems to be roaring. He exchanged a glance with his own shadow clone, with a strong smile in his eyes, and just now put away the soaring fire pillar, behind the clock. Flowing blade like fire a beginning solution a burning city. The flame released from the blade wraps Hachio like a huge palm forming a flame cage to trap Hachio severely. Eight Tails also put away the tailed beast Yu Guangbo all at once, because it opened its mouth for too long, its jaw was already stiff, and it would not be able to take it back for a while. He could only yell out the depression accumulated in his heart with his tongue wide open. Humans. At least give me a chance to speak. Just know if you ask me if you want to tell me, if you don't a tea ask me, what should I say? The shadow clones who shot just now looked at each other in blank dismay. Shadow clone number one. Didn't we ask? Number two. It seems that I didn't ask. Number three. It's on top, I wanted to ask. Hearing their answers, Hachio clenched his fists tightly, extremely aggrieved. Danzo glanced at Ruoyo Ruowu, and then let it go quickly, forcing a smile out of his swollen face. Danzo thought for a moment, touched his nose indifferently, and said carelessly. 
All right then, I'll ask you now, will you seal it for me? The several shadow clones around him squeezed their fists with smiles on their faces. Seeing this, Hachio, who still wanted to think about it, nodded quickly. If he spoke too late, he was afraid that he would be beaten again by these unreasonable guys. Now the psychological shadow brought by this human being has infinitely approached Senju Bashirama. No matter how unwilling he was to return to the narrow sealed space, he could only helplessly click on the bull's head, which had swollen a lot. Wouldn't it be all right earlier? Danzo took out a seal scroll from his bag, jumped onto Hashio's head, bit his finger, and pressed down hard. Bluda Sishiong seal. The cumbersome black runes quickly spread all over its body, and the figure of the eight tails kept shrinking, and finally it was received in this thin scroll. Seeing that it was finally sealed again, Danzo waved his hand, and the flame cage that illuminated most of the town dissipated in the air. Withdrawing the knife back to its sheath, the black energy on his body also slowly retracted between his brows, and the sealing circle in his eyes turned again, pulling the demon that had accumulated all his negative energy back to the depths of his heart. At this moment, Danzo felt a great sense of exhaustion all over his body, which made his footsteps go weak and he almost fell to the ground. This sequelae. Feeling the inner demon in his heart grow stronger again, Danzo shook his head. I didn't expect the cost of this mission to be so high, forcing me to use all my cards, at least, I can't use Ghost Shadow again for two years. However, the results are also good. Looking at Hachio in the scroll, he nodded in satisfaction. Now that this guy has been taken back to Konoha, his own sealing technique is not enough, so he has to go back to the village and ask Grandma Mito to help strengthen it. However, after the Nine Tails, it feels somewhat tasteless. If they want to take Hachio back, at least they have to let the guys like Yunin bleed some. It's a pity that the two guys, Ginkaku and Kinkaku, were not kept. Just now, I wanted to take advantage of their final state of ruthlessness to catch them back. But I didn't expect that the domineering look swept all over the city, but I didn't find these two dogs. The brain turned more and more slowly, and finally when the eyes went dark, the whole person fainted on the ground. The slightly dazzling sunlight passed through the window and sprinkled on the young man lying on the white hospital bed. Feeling the warmth around her, her eyelashes moved slightly, and she was about to open her eyes, but her eyes were slightly narrowed by the sunlight. He turned over and sat up, scanned the surrounding environment, smiled at himself, and leaned on the soft pillow. Is this the second time I've been in the hospital? Squeezing his fist, his whole body was still aching, thinking of the previous battle, he shook his head. The power of the tailed beast is really beyond the reach of ordinary humans, and even he has to pay such a high price. Squeak. The door of the ward was pushed open from the outside, and when he heard movement in the room, his gaze shifted from the document in his hand to Danzo who woke up. You bastard, you finally woke up, didn't you tell me not to be brave? The document in his hand was unconsciously squeezed by him, Senju Tobarama walked forward quickly, his tone was full of complaints, but the expression on his face completely betrayed him. Ha ha ha, teacher, am I okay now? Knowing that he was indeed a little careless this time, Danzo could only say ha ha. If he was still faced with the same situation, he still would not take a step back. He could have backed off at that time, but those residents who did not evacuate would suffer. HMPH, you brat. Looking at his disciple's expression, Senju Tobarama naturally understood what he was thinking, feeling helpless but proud. The stinky boy Danzo, but those civilians put it in their hearts, and in this regard, I am not as good as him. He raised his hand and pointed at the center of his eyebrows, sensing the evil aura contained therein frowning tightly between Senju doors, and said solemnly. The inner demon in the mental space has grown a little bit more, and it seems to have a bit more burning feeling. Hearing what his teacher said, Danzo frowned slightly, and sank his mind again. The gossip seal has been re-strengthened, but compared to before, the originally strong sealing circle is somewhat thinner now, and the black air behind it is no longer a thick mass, but condensed into a small ball, which seems to be gestating something. There are several golden chains wrapped around the ball, which seems to be the Vajra blockade of the Uzumaki clan. Presumably Mito Sama came to protect him when he was unconscious. The golden runes kept obliterating the black energy on it, but every jump of it made the chains wrapped around it vibrate continuously, and there were still a few red threads on the black ball. In other words, this thing can be regarded as a golden core, right? My regiment has the appearance of a great emperor. See how you don't care about it, kid. Senju Tobarama saw that he was not paying attention, patted Danzo's head with the document in his hand, and said angrily. Danzo pretended to be in pain, and said naively, Isn't there a teacher here? 
In the future, the enemies who cannot be defeated will call the teacher to fight. The enemy will know that you are afraid when they see you. I'm just a thug in your eyes, right? Hearing his answer, Fei Jian's tone was still slightly angry, but the corners of his mouth were already curled up. How dare you, hee hee. Danzo breathed a sigh of relief after finally appeasing himself, the old Sunere teacher. At this moment, there was a knock on the door outside the ward. Knock knock knock. Toborama and Danzo looked at each other, and let him walk in with a voice. The person who came was the guard of that town before, holding a fruit basket in his hand, and when he saw that there were still standing in the ward, he quickly put down the things in his hand. Standing up straight, he said in a respectful tone, Master Hokage, Lord Danzo. Is there anything? Danzo also had a good impression of this Hanada ninja who dared to stand in front of his subordinates, so he spoke in a gentle tone. He glanced at the door, remained silent for a few seconds, raised his head, looked at Danzo with firm eyes, gritted his teeth and said, Master Danzo, I want to join your roots. Now it's Danzo's turn to be surprised. You must know that the ninja in charge of the town he held before is an extremely good position. In addition, he is also a direct ninja of the Hyuga clan, and his own strength is not bad. If you follow the steps arranged by the family step by step, you will definitely be able to be a middle level and high level existence in the village. Now most of my roots are civilian ninjas, a few are family ninjas, but none of those big family ninjas. In the final analysis, because those big family ninjas are supported by the power of the family, it is a broad road in itself, and there is no need to join the route at all. Because I want to follow my lord, there was fire in his eyes, and after that night of fighting, he really saw the strength of the strong. Originally thought that he could be regarded as a well-known powerhouse in the ninja world, but now it seems that he is still a frog at the bottom of the well. Even the strongest in the family can't compete with this monster, let alone seal it. After many days of thinking, he decided to give up on this planned road and follow this lord wholeheartedly. For this reason, he even quarreled with the family and cut off the family's resources for him. Danzo glanced at the teacher standing beside him, but got a blank stare. He signaled to let him solve it by himself. You must know that Anbu before him hesitated and hawed when he went to talk to those family dignitaries, but when it was his turn to be a foolish apprentice, someone took the initiative to send him to the door. Although Danzo was already smiling in his heart, he still didn't show half of it on his face. Regardless of whether this is a sugar-coated cannonball or not, as long as he enters the door at his route, he won't even think about getting out. The blood-stained boundary of white eyes is extremely useful in certain fields. Perhaps, you can consider giving him a black shadow mask as a nail to hit Hanada. There is absolutely no need for family division or something. Birds belong to the free sky, not in cages. Seeing that there was no response from Danzo for a long time, Hanadagawa's bright eyes dimmed slightly, so he bowed politely, full of regret in his heart. Sorry, Danzo-sama, for interrupting. Wait a minute, I mean, you can join my roots. The fish said hastily, not letting go. While Hayugagawa was pleasantly surprised, he seemed to feel that the personality of the adult in front of him was a bit different from what he had imagined, and he had a vague feeling of being on a thief's boat. The country of thunder, the village of Yunren. You two damn bastards, do you still see me, Lei Ying, in your eyes? Don't dare. A rough sound came from the central building in the village, shaking the surrounding birds to flutter their wings and move away from the building. Anyone can hear the monstrous anger contained in it. Inside the building, Ginkaku Kinkaku half kneeled in front of Second Rakage, lowered her head, and silently endured his scolding. He even left Eight Tailed there. Do you know how much the early Rakage Sama paid for it? The furious Lei Ying stared at the two of them with eyes as big as copper bells, angrily clenched his fists, crackling. Turning his head, his eyes scanned the room, and finally he walked to the weapon rack, reached out and pulled out a special iron rod. Holding it in his hand, he weighed the iron rod for a while, then swung it around, hitting Ginkaku Kinkaku hard. Stealing treasures from the village, snapped. Let Hachio go, and the village has to go to Konoha to redeem it. Snapped. Leading a team to the land of fire without permission, do you know that it almost led to war? As the iron bars continued to fall, there were red marks on the two of them, and they didn't dare to make any moves at all. Yunnan village has always worshipped the strong, and Rakage has always been the strongest in the village under normal conditions. With the two of them alone, they can't defeat the second Rakage without the help of foreign objects. They just gritted their teeth and forcibly endured the whip from Lei Ying, but there seemed to be a tiny flame in their eyes. The nine-tailed chakra permeated their hearts, constantly provoking their already irritable nerves. Finally, 
Kinkaku felt the pain in his back, and the flames in his eyes, fluttered, up, and he couldn't help but speak. Master Rakage, let's go to war. We cloud ninjas are not afraid of Konoha. Hearing these words, Lei Ying was taken aback for a moment, and then the iron rod in his hand was pulled towards Kinkaku with the sound of breaking the wind. The power of this rod directly knocked him down, blood slowly oozing from his clothes. It's up to you to say it. How about Lei Ying's seat for you? After beating him to the ground, Rakage retracted the blood stained iron rod, and looked coldly at Kinkaku who had passed out. Ginkaku, who was kneeling aside, saw that Kinkaku had fainted, endured the severe pain, straightened his back, lowered his head, and the flames in his eyes dimmed temporarily. Seeing that these two guys finally took back their thoughts, Lei Ying also breathed a sigh of relief. Ginkaku Kinkaku and the others have become more and more ambitious in the past few years. When their strength was not strong before, I could suppress them and make them do things obediently. But now their strength is getting stronger and stronger, but they are getting older and older. They have passed the peak period of ninja's life strength, and I don't know if they can suppress their ambitions in the future. This private mission, what really made me angry was not the above reasons, but the challenge of the two young male lions to myself, the old Lion King. They dared to lead a team out without permission, and many people followed them. They didn't take Lei Ying, who was him, at all. It was only discovered when the village counted the number of people. On the surface, it was to make a fortune, but in fact it was testing him, testing his bottom line. Fortunately, they are free now, otherwise, even if I punish them, I can't punish them, at most, I will give them a gentle reprimand. Really, thank you Danzo. In this comparison, the price of redeeming Yao is not so distressing. Looking at the back of Ginkaku helping Kinkaku back, Lei Ying glanced at the vibrant village and nodded in satisfaction. Since learning Konoha's education system, the number of ninjas in the village has almost returned to the pre-war standard, it turns out that there are so many geniuses among civilian ninjas. Thousand hands, you really opened my eyes. As a thank you, let Konoha become their cloud ninja territory. Dark clouds slowly drifted from the sky, covering the entire Yunnan village in shadow. Rakage's face flickered, looking at the ninja world map hanging on the wall, without saying a word. Konoha must be hit, but Kinkaku should not say it. At least, we have to talk about it after we get the eight tails. Such a rich land should belong to Yun Ren. Come here, prepare the mission, go to Konoha, the ninja who leads the team. He called out Anbu, who was directly under Rakage, and was about to ask someone to redeem Yao, and all the information about the ninja in the village flashed in his mind. Let him go. In the end, his thoughts stopped on a ninja who was a little like him, with a soft light in his resolute eyes. It is the son of the second generation of Rakage, that is, the third generation of Rakage in the future. Now he has already gained a lot of reputation in the village, and he has faintly become the leader of the younger generation. No matter in terms of status or strength, he is the best candidate for Konoha this time. After redeeming the eight tails, you can tell those old guys that Konoha's piece of meat, Yunnan alone, can't eat it. He looked mockingly at the white paper hanging next to the map, dismissing it. Peace deal? It's just waste paper. The rough looking carriage convoy came slowly from afar with thick smoke and dust. The curtain of the leading carriage was lifted, and a man with a dark complexion stared fixedly at Konoha Ninja Village crawling on the ground from the carriage. Is this what the old man said about Muya Village? It's really. Makes people jealous. Third eye squinted his eyes, braving the flame of greed while being jealous. The ninjas guarding the village are extremely elite, with sharp eyes scanning everyone who enters the village. The villagers live and work in peace and contentment, and everyone has a happy smile on their faces. The streets are prosperous and prosperous, providing the village with fresh blood from the economy, a scene of peace and tranquility. The whole village is sleeping in this forest like a giant beast, but he believes that no matter who disturbs the sleep of this giant beast, he will use his sharp claws to ruthlessly tear the coma apart. Its power and prosperity made his body tremble continuously, which was both fear and excitement. At this time, he completely understood why his father would never forget Konoha after seeing him once. Because, he is the same now. Just follow the plan, and take this opportunity to go to Konoha to develop a group of spies lurking in Konoha. As long as you are human, you have weaknesses, wealth, sex, and power all have to be the same. Thinking of the funds brought over, Sandai I felt a little distressed in his heart. This is not a small sum, but for the future of the village, this is the only way to do it. Slowly put down the curtain of the carriage again, close your eyes, and adjust your state, but you can't let those guys from Konoha see your thoughts. 
Danzo stood obliquely at the entrance of Konoha village, looking into the distance boredly. Suddenly, a convoy with the Yunnan logo appeared on the horizon. He quickly straightened his body, his eyes gleaming, Yun Ren's money giving boy is here. Not long after, the carriage convoy had arrived at the entrance of Konoha village, and Danzo stepped forward to greet him with a smile on his face. After all, you are a guest, you still have to have etiquette, it does not matter if you have money or not. Third eye jumped off the carriage first, walked straight to Danzo, took out a banknote from his sleeve and handed it over in secret, but lowered his head unconsciously when he wanted to be high, and said in a slightly respectful tone. Dear Konoha Ninja, I am the representative of the mission visiting on behalf of Yunnan Village. Ha ha ha, guests from Yunnan, welcome. Looking at the silver ticket handed to him, Danzo was a little surprised, and then put it away calmly, with a three-point smile on his face again. Remove the domineering arrogance suppressed by the third generation of I. Seeing that the Konoha ninja who came to meet him accepted his bribe, Third Eye turned his head and raised his eyebrows proudly at the vice captain of the mission. The vice captain of the mission silently gave him a thumbs up, he didn't expect that even the Konoha ninja who came to greet them would be so greedy for money. It seems that Konoha will end sooner or later, although I don't know who the person in front of me is, but receiving the banknote means that this Konoha is not monolithic. The advantage is mine. Thinking of this, Sandai Ai looked at Danzo with more and more friendly eyes. Comrade Konoha, with a kind face and kind eyes, should be one of us Yunnan at first glance. The vice captain of the Yunnan mission looked at this scene, scratched his head, always felt that something was wrong, but couldn't say anything, he could only suppress the doubts in his heart, and followed the mission to Konoha. Konoha is really prosperous. As soon as the third generation I entered Konoha, he looked left and right, ignoring the villagers' curious eyes on him. Everything here is very new to him, after all, he has always appeared as an opponent before. Although as an opponent, he was directly blocked by the Konoha ninja at the border, let alone broke into the village. It has to be said that in terms of the wealth of the village alone, Konoha ranks second, and no one dares to say that it is the first. All the villagers have ruddy complexions, and they are not short of food or clothing. Compared with Yunnan village, I couldn't help but sigh, Yunnan village is still not comparable to Konoha. However, as long as Konoha is swallowed, it will naturally be better than it. Looking at Danzo who was leading the way at the front of the team with scorching eyes, a confident smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. At this time, a group of Konoha guards walked past the group of Yunnan, and Uchiha Janin who led the team looked at Yunnan, and his originally kind eyes instantly became vigilant. Immediately, he noticed Danzo at the front again, looked away with confidence, nodded towards Danzo with a little respect, and led the team away again. Captain, according to the rules, shouldn't you question those cloud ninjas? After the guard team moved away from cloud ninjas, a young Uchiha ninja spoke. When Uchiha Janin heard what the team members said, he burst out laughing and patted him on the shoulder. Boy, are you new here? That's right. The young ninja was taken aback and nodded. All the Uchiha ninjas couldn't help laughing, and Uchiha Janin wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes because of laughing, and shook his hand. You just have to remember that even if everyone in this village has problems, that lord is fine. Why? Seeing his teammates laughing, he was stunned. In order to join the security team, he was a cultivator on weekdays and rarely saw Danzo. Just because his name is Shimura Danzo, it's a senior who can safely hand over his back to him, just like Senior Jing. In this village, he is the most reassuring person. Hearing his question, a group of teammates stopped teasing him, and talked to him about various deeds of Danzo. His eyes became brighter and brighter, and he looked towards the direction of Danzo in the distance, raising his position in his heart to that of his idol, Uchiha Mirror. It seems that this Konoha ninja has a high status in the village. Three generations of Aya looked at the reaction of the Uchiha guard, and thought in his heart. I didn't expect that even the upper echelons of the village are so rotten, God help me. Thinking about it, he couldn't help laughing, he didn't expect the implementation of the first plan to go so smoothly. Confidently looking at the Hokage building not far away, it seems that he has seen its collapse. Okay, here is the residence for everyone in Yunnan village. Danzo led a group of cloud ninjas to a crumbling building, and said to them with a smile on his face. Sandai looked at this building, then at the luxurious hotel next door, and the corners of his mouth twitched. Before he could say anything, the Konoha ninja who was in charge of guarding the place saw them coming, walked up to them impatiently, and put a key into the hands of Sandai. Everyone is the Yunnan mission, right? Welcome, I am Mizuki Yuma, here to hand over the reception. Since you are here, I will leave first. 
After finishing speaking, he opened his legs and was about to leave, but was held back by the third generation of I. I saw his complexion was ugly, a few words were squeezed out between his teeth, and the veins in his arms burst out. Our guest house looks like this. Seeing his angry appearance, Mizuki Yuma, who was held back, didn't panic. He shook off Sandai Ai's hand as soon as he shook his hand, straightened his collar, and said in a leisurely manner. Otherwise, it's good to have it for free, don't look at it like this, the quality is awesome. As soon as the words fell, the door panel of that house fell down, splashing a circle of dust. Cough cough. The third generation I who was standing in front shook his hand in front of him, coughed a few times due to the heavy dust, then widened his eyes, raised his hand in disbelief, pointed at the door panel that had fallen to the ground, and raised the volume. You call this thing good quality, he really couldn't figure out why Konoha, who had always been known for his demeanor as a great country, would become like this. This. Is too shameless. Damn it, just one word, you can't stand it. At this time, Mizuki Yuma also put away the fake smile on his face, and said impatiently. When all Yun Ren heard his words, the veins on their foreheads were bulging, and their eyes were about to burst into flames, as if they were going to burn him through. Looking at their eyes, Mizuki Yuma took half a step back calmly, secretly winking wildly at Danzo standing behind Kumo Shinobi. He groaned in his heart, if his lord hadn't ordered him to do so, he wouldn't have done such a hateful thing. Danzo, who had been standing by the side eating melons, watched his deputy director's operation, smiled cheerfully, and seeing that he couldn't stand it anymore, he took a step forward, stood between the two, and scolded with a serious face. What's going on? The Cloud Ninja mission is a guest from afar. How can you treat customers like this? The third generation icon Danzo, who was about to be unable to bear the fight, spoke for them, and nodded in relief. Unexpectedly, the spy developed just now will come in handy so soon. My great loyal minister of Cloud Ninja, is it because the funds I have given are still less? Mizuki Yuma seemed to have just discovered Danzo, with a respectful face, but still embarrassed and said. But my lord, this was explained by the superiors, and I am only the executor. After hearing his words, the cloud ninjas all disappeared, and just transferred their hatred to the superior he said. One cloud ninja said angrily. It must be Shimura Danzo. I've heard that that guy wants to peel off his skin to all the people in other villages. These words made Mizuki Yuma and Danzo who were standing aside both froze, and the former could hardly help laughing. I think, maybe you have some misunderstandings about him. Danzo really didn't know that his reputation had become like this, and wanted to save it. Hey, brother, you are too simple at first glance, and you have never seen the dangers in the world. The vice captain of the Cloud Nin mission stepped forward and patted Danzo on the shoulder, shook his head, and then seemed to think of something, and said, Oh, by the way, brother, what's your name? Oh, my name is Zhang Tuan. Tuan Zhang looked harmless to humans and animals, but his eyes flashed like a fox. The world is dangerous, isn't it? Skinning, right? In a moment, I will let you see what it means to be dangerous in the world. It's just a toad, labor and capital will piss out of you. Brothers of the Tibetan Tuan. What a good name, what a good name. Third generation I smiled generously, and then said with some embarrassment, We won't really live here later, will we? Mizuki Yuma shrugged helplessly, looking helpless. When they were at a loss, Danzo said to the third generation of I, Actually, there is no way. Hearing his words, the eyes of all the Yunnan were brightened. If they could choose, they certainly didn't want to live here. I still have some status in the village. If I change your residence for you, for my sake, they won't say anything, just. A sentence was spoken slowly, which whetted their appetites. They rubbed the two fingers of their right hand, showing embarrassment. Oh, I understand, I understand. Third eye took out a few banknotes again from his sleeve, and handed them over quietly, with a smile on his face. Finally have the opportunity to change residences, what's wrong with throwing some money to manage things up and down? It should be. I believe that the big brother of the Tibetan mission will not lie to them. Looking down at the amount of the banknote, Danzo narrowed his eyes with a smile, and said to Mizuki Yuma. Wait a minute, if the higher ups come to ask, they will say that my Tibetan group replaced it, and if you have any questions, come to me. Brother Zangtuan, I really trouble you. The third generation I's eyes were a little red, and he hammered his shoulder and said, If you go to Yenin village in the future, please report my name. Definitely. Danzo smiled, and nodded his head as if moved. Turning your head, swearing in your heart, I hope you can still say that when the time comes. Then he led a group of Yunnan to the brand new guesthouse that had been prepared for them. 
everyone turned around an alley, and a luxurious residence appeared in front of them. This majestic appearance made the third generation I, who was a little bit distressed about money, nod his head in satisfaction. Compared with the dilapidated old houses over there, this place is probably heaven, right? Among other things, the brother of the Tibetan Tuan can deal with it, and he will really go to it if something happens. He's committed to this brother. After seeing Hokage tomorrow, I will ask for help. The screen changed and we came to Hokage's office. How is it? Arrangements have been made for the Yunnan mission. Tobarama took a pen to write and draw on the document, and said to Danzo without raising his head. Quietly put a few banknotes deep in his sleeves, Danzo said without blushing. A everything has been arranged, they are very satisfied with their stay. A. Putting the pen in his hand on the table, he stretched his waist and spread his palms. That's good, bring it here. What are you bringing here? Teacher, why can't I understand? Seeing his teacher's actions, Donzo's heart tightened and he pretended not to understand. Hey, you kids still pretended to me, and got a lot of money, right? With his hands crossed and resting on his chin, Tobarama looked at the seemingly innocent Danzo with interest, and tapped the fingers of his right hand on the back of his left hand. Teacher, how could my group be such a person? Someone must have slandered me. Danzo pointed to the ceiling with his left hand and kept waving it, his face full of excitement, but he didn't expect that because of the excessive range of motion, a silver ticket dangled down his sleeve. If I say that I picked up the money, would you believe me, teacher? Danzo walked forward without changing his face, bent down, and said sincerely. Hee hee. What do you think? Fajian crossed Erlang's legs, put his hands on the back of his head, and said with a half-hearted smile. Feeling the few silver notes left in his sleeves, Danzo sighed in his heart, what an evil power class. This is all my hard-earned black-hearted money. Now it seems that I can only abandon the car to protect my handsomeness. Pretending to be reluctant, he put the banknote on the desk, and then sneaked up to the gate. Wait. Is there any more? Looking at the large amount of banknotes on the table, a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, and when he looked up, he found that Danzo was getting closer to the gate. He patted the table and said lightly. Danzo, who had already put his hand on the doorknob, turned around stiffly, took out all the bills in one sleeve with a painful face, walked quickly to the table, and took a picture vigorously. Teacher, you are really not a good person, even stealing money from disciples. He happily picked up the bills and counted them, and didn't care about Danzo's words at all. He raised his hand and waved, indicating that he could leave. This money is not a small amount, this little fox is really ruthless in knocking those Yun Nin's tricks, but unfortunately, it is all mine now. I'm sorry, my wronged apprentice, after all, a teacher's research institute needs a lot of money. Danzo, who turned around and left, was really a little desolate, with two drops of helplessness and three touches of sadness. Click. The office door opened and closed. As soon as Danzo walked out of the office door, he jumped up instantly, whistled and walked out of the building, feeling the silver ticket on his chest that was much more than the one given to the teacher, and smiled proudly. Ha, fortunately, the young master knew the nature of this bastard teacher a long time ago, so he saved a hand in advance. He took out the banknote and nodded happily, leaving only Yunin who was injured and didn't know it. Next, it's time to drink some wine. Unfortunately, I can't cheat those guys tomorrow. Shaking his head regretfully, humming a little song, he turned around and walked towards the busiest street in Konoha. The next day, Naruto Building Conference Hall. A group of cloud ninjas had already prepared their formal attire, and they were sitting in their seats in an orderly manner. Although they refused to admit it, they had to say that the man who was about to appear was the leader of the most ninja village in the ninja world. Those who bear the title of Shadow are also the most powerful group of people. Whether it is power or strength, they have to be solemn. Bang. The door was slowly pushed open, and it was a black-haired young man who walked in. Third eye saw the visitor clearly, and waved his arms happily. Hey, Brother Zangtuan. Halfway through speaking, he scanned the surrounding environment and saw that they were the only ones with Yun Nin, so he resumed his volume. Danzo sat down next to him carelessly, picked up the apple on the table and nodded. There was a gleam in his eyes, and the smile on his face was extremely bright. It seems that the status of this Tibetan brother is higher than what I thought, the money is really worth it. Later, I had to ask him about the enemy of Yunnan village that my father ordered Shimura Danzo. Just when the third generation of I wanted to speak again, there was a sound of footsteps at the door, and a group of high-level Konoha came in. The leading man had silver hair, and the years seemed to have left no traces on his face. The moment he walked in, 
All the people sitting in the conference hall stood up spontaneously, even Yunin. Only Danzo still held a half-eaten apple in his hand. Toborama walked directly to the main seat, and out of the corner of his eye, he saw Danzo sitting beside Yun Nin, and saw this apprentice winking at him. This made Fei Jian's cold face couldn't help but feel a little more joy, and looked at those unknowing cloud ninjas with a little more pity. This group of unlucky guys, if you meet this little fox, you will recognize it. Dear Hokage-sama, I send my greetings to you on behalf of Yunin village. After tidying up his clothes, Sandai Ai lowered his head and said to Fajian with respect. His eyes shifted to the third generation Ai who stood up, aware of his strength, his eyes froze, is he another cloud ninja genius? One second, two seconds, three seconds. He, who hadn't received Toborama response for a long time, was sweating profusely on his back. In front of this Hokage, even he felt extremely stressed. This feeling is greater than the pressure that his father brought him to face the eight tails before. Okay, sit down. After looking at him, he said coldly. The three generations of I who received the response sat on the chair like an amnesty, and most of their backs were already wet. Seeing his appearance, the vice captain of Yun Nin Mission, who was sitting on the side, felt a shudder in his heart, raised his head, looked at the door sitting in the high position, and spoke first. Master Hokage, we are here to redeem eight Dao. For the specific conditions, you can tell my disciple, Shimura Danzo. After all, he was the one who accidentally caught eight tails in the land of fire. With Erlang's legs crossed between the doors, turning the pen, looking at Danzo who was fishing beside him, he said lightly. Yun Ren looked at the door together, but he didn't expect that someone sitting next to them stood up silently, put down the apple he was gnawing, and straightened his collar. No talent, it's down. Grinning wide, revealing a standard smile, those eight big teeth are dazzlingly white. Pulling back the cushion, Danzo Shi ran to the chairperson of the group of Konoha ninjas on the opposite side and sat down, put away the laughing and joking face just now, and looked serious. You are Shimura Danzo? Zangdan, Danzo, so that's the case, I should have thought of it earlier. Three generations of eyes sat paralyzed on the cushion, staring fixedly at someone who didn't change his face, thinking about the spy funds cheated by him, all of a sudden he just wanted to find a way to get in. It turned out that all his actions were like a clown, just under Konoha's nose. I really admire you, the sixth child. All Yunin slapped the table, stood up together, glared at Danzo opposite, and gritted their teeth. Shameless Konoha ninja. I reported, he took our bribe. Huh. Toborama looked at the cloud ninjas who were blowing up below, and hummed softly, which made them all calm down, but there were still flames in their eyes. Looking at it like that, I can't wait to eat Danzo alive. As for the bribe, Danzo, please stay and explain to me later. Seeing that the Yunin were all quiet, Toborama nodded in satisfaction, felt the banknote on his chest, and said to Danzo with righteous words. At the same time, I felt a little strange, judging by the amount of these banknotes, it shouldn't make them so angry. Could it be that Yun Ren is so poor? Hearing Toborama words, all Yunin's eyes gloated, let you shamelessly lie to us, just wait for Hokage to teach you a lesson. Danzo seemed to be in a panic, nodded a little, scared, and then looked at the cloud ninjas, with a smile on the corner of his mouth. The conversation with Toborama sensei last night came to mind. Teacher, I don't have much experience in negotiating things like this, so I don't know what to say. As long as you pay attention to your words, you must be polite and polite, so that you can show the magnanimity of our great country. He nodded knowingly. I understand. Clearing his throat, Danzo looked at the cloud ninjas confidently, and said loudly. Party B, on behalf of Konoha, I strongly condemn your actions. Adhering to the belief of humanitarianism, I agree to Party B's request. However, it is necessary to compensate Party A for the money and resources lost. Is it that easy? A trace of surprise flashed in the heart of the third generation I. He thought it was necessary to have a verbal battle, but he didn't expect Konoha to be so generous. He took out the list he had prepared long ago, and read it out according to the damage caused by Hachio last time, only slightly increased by a billion points. Every time he heard a fee, Sandai Ai's hands trembled, and his expression changed from calm at the beginning to unbelievable later. After Danzo finished reading, he snatched the list from his hand and looked at each item with wide eyes. Needless to say, housing maintenance fees and personnel relocation fees are all normal expenses, but what the hell are those below? Spiritual compensation fee, pet placement fee and there are food, drink and medical expenses for the eight tails? Doesn't this stuff need to be eaten? Damn it, bullying honest people, right? 
Sandai Ai slapped the list on the table angrily, stood up, pointed at Danzo with one hand, and shouted. You might as well go and rob. All the Konoha executives looked at each other and laughed. This list was made by them working overtime. Danzo stretched out his hands, suppressed the laughter around him, then stood up, leaned out, only an inch away from his fingers, and said with a smile, Just kidding, is robbery faster than this? You. Sandai Ai clenched his other hand into a fist, looking bitterly at Danzo, who could be hit as long as he stretched out his hand, his arm muscles swelled, and his eyes were slightly bloodshot. The vice captain of the Yunnan mission looked at the third generation Ai who was about to be unable to bear his hands, and quickly took his hand, hoping to pull him back to his seat. He kept making drastic choices in his mind, looked at the ninjas from the same village beside him, and finally could only sit down depressed again. Seeing that the third generation of Ai calmed down, the vice captain of the mission was relieved. This is Muya village. If he made a move, he and others would get no benefit at all. Then he looked at Danzo, holding the list, his voice could not hide his anger. Danzo sama, isn't your condition too much? What's more, Hachio is originally from my cloud ninja village. Cut? It's originally Yunin's thing. If you want to go back, send troops to fight. Danzo sneered, with a disdainful tone, he directly lifted the hem of his clothes, stood up, and said, if this is the case, the negotiation will be suspended. After the two countries finish fighting, we can continue talking. What do you think? Ahem. Go ahead, leave me alone. He was choked up when he heard his disciples' words while drinking water, and waved his hand, but the smile on the corner of his mouth could not be suppressed no matter what. The vice captain of the mission blushed. He was originally a rare intelligent talent among Yunnan, so he was sent to be the second in command of the mission, but he had never seen such a shameless person, and he didn't know what to say for a while. You are vulgar. Does this still have the demeanor of a great country? Hey Tui, I have already seen the face of you, and I tell you that there must be every drop of supplies on the list. Otherwise, after finishing speaking, he waved his sleeves, gestured with his eyes to sit in the main seat and eat melons, and left the field directly, and all the senior Konoha executives also got up and left. The moment he left the conference hall, bursts of laughter came from outside, and the sound came through the door to the cloud ninjas sitting on the cushions. Damn it. This is too bullying. Their expressions were cloudy and uncertain. This feeling of powerlessness made Sandai Ai's face flushed, and he punched the table. Finally, the long wooden table could no longer bear it and fell down with a boom. Jenbu Ninja, who was still in charge of recording in the meeting room, silently wrote on the list in his hand again. A desk in the meeting room. After thinking about it, I crossed it out again, and changed it to, a century-old precious rosewood desk. Then he nodded in satisfaction and laughed silently.